Today, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of advice and some tips on how to backpack more this year and next year and the year after that and the year after that. Been around the block a couple of times and I always found myself at the end of summer looking back and being like, wow, I wish I would have backpacked more and kind of being disappointed about it. So we don't want that. We want to be looking back at our summer being like, wow, cool, I got out. So I'm gonna give you a few tips. And the first tip to backpack more is to put it on the calendar. If you don't put it on the calendar, it's not gonna happen. You don't need to know exactly what you're doing, but what I would suggest is just looking at the calendar for the summer. A lot of us have kids and birthday parties and weddings and things like that, and looking for a block of time where you're going to go backpacking or hunting or whatever it might be that you are into. If it's not on the calendar, it's not gonna get done. Block it out, look at the weekend, look at the days, and just put your name in there and make sure it's reserved. And then you can kind of go into the planning process, whether it's one day or two days or five days, whatever it might be, at least it's on the calendar and you can start planning towards it. So first tip, just put it on the calendar, make sure it's there so you have something to start planning to. The second tip is to do less week-long trips or multi-day trips and do more simple, just overnight turn and burn backpacking trips. And I kind of learned this one early on when I didn't have time to do a lot of multi-day trips. And it turns out that it actually works really, really well. And it's really enjoyable. I know that we all have these big dreams about doing these multi-day adventures, going here and there, but I just don't think that it's realistic to expect to have these multiple week-long backpacking trips every single year. In fact, a lot of people do one big backpacking trip every year and that's their backpacking adventure, which is totally fine. But if you want to backpack, you want to backpack. So go in, camp overnight, have your relaxation time, have a bit of adventure, hike out the next morning or next afternoon, and you had a backpacking trip. And what's cool about that is they don't really take a lot of planning and they're usually really lightweight, not bringing a ton of food, not bringing a ton of water, and it's really flexible and you can kind of go to different places that you normally wouldn't go overnight. So if you're always used to having to plan three or four days of backpacking, you can kind of just jump into a spot do a little nice little bluff camp or something like that, maybe down in the valley. And it's a really nice way to get a backpacking trip in, feel like you're getting some fresh air and you go into the next week feeling pretty good knowing that you just did a backpacking trip and you're not like exhausted going into the week. And also you get a lot more reps in. So you're breaking down camp, you're putting up camp and you're doing a little more ad hoc planning in that way. So it's really beneficial. Final tip, tip number three, is to set realistic expectations for your backpacking adventures. And this kind of ties the uh, first two together. Setting an expectation for how many times you're gonna go backpacking is really, really important. I know that we all wanna have these big grand adventures and we wanna be backpacking all the time, but for a lot of people, that's just not really realistic. We have families, we have things to do. And sometimes we just, set ourselves up for failure by thinking that we're gonna be out there every single week or every single weekend, when in reality, a lot of people just aren't that. And in today's social media craze where everyone's posting these like epic pictures of their backpacking trips and hiking trips, it just makes it look like they're out there all the time doing stuff. And maybe they are. Maybe they're sponsored by Backcountry or maybe they're sponsored by this person or maybe they're just lucky enough to have the kind of lifestyle where they're out there all the time. But for the vast majority of people, that's just not the case. And to be considered a backpacker, it just means that you like to go backpacking. So whether that's one time a year or 10 times a year, or maybe you're hiking the Pacific Crest Trail and you have five months to hike, it's all backpacking. And there's a lot of different styles out there. So what I would suggest is as you're like thinking about all the backpacking trips that you want to do this year and the things you want to see and the places you want to go. Give yourself like a box to work inside. Be realistic about what you're able to achieve so that when you're looking back at the end of the year, you're not like uber disappointed with yourself and be like, oh, I didn't go uh, to the Grand Canyon and do the rim to rim or I didn't do, um, I don't know, some big loop or something that you really want to do that's super epic. It's really good to have those stretch goals and be like, ah, you know what I want to do? I want to hike 
the Grand Canyon, or I want to do the hot, you went to Highline Trail, or I want to do the JMT, or I want to go here, there, and everywhere. Those are really awesome because they keep you going and they keep you practicing and, and get you excited about the future. But if that's not in the cards right now, you got to be realistic about it. Start there, maybe flip this whole thing around, and maybe we should have started with be realistic about your backpacking goals so that when you're done, you're not super disappointed with yourself because that's just not fun. You should be excited. Even if you get out one time, you should be excited about it. That's my little blip on how to backpack more this year and the year after that, year after that. Tip number one, put it on the calendar. Tip number two, do more overnight short trips. And three, be realistic about your goals so that you're not setting yourself up for failure. Hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments below. If you have tips on how you backpack more, please put them below. This is a community. We're all learning together. That's what it's all about. There's links in the uh, video description to Facebook group, the backpacking course, and the podcast. Be sure to check those out along with the website. If you haven't said hi to me, please shoot me an email at emery at byland.co or put it in the comments below. And if you are headed out on an adventure anytime soon, be safe, make great decisions, put your stuff on the calendar, make it happen, and we'll see you next time.